Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for August 2020. This is a general reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to start off with a couple of overall messages from the Tea Leaf Oracle cards, Fortune cards. The decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. There is a link in the description box below that will take you to my website along with any other information that you may want to know about me. All right, let's get started, Gemini. See what we got here. I did pull your astrology card prior to starting the reading, and you did get the Leo card. Leo is a really great energy. Um, very interesting the more I learn about astrology, but it is about honor and strength, being proud and strong. It's about having integrity. Someone is realizing that they cannot live without you because you are the light in their world. There is darkness since you've been gone. Leo likes to stand out in a crowd. They are usually a clown or the life of the party. They like to have fun. They like to be in the public eye center stage and in the spotlight. They make a great salesman or an actor. You do not want to overlook them or ignore them because they may resent you for life. Well, <laughs> if you pull this card during your reading, you are about to be the center of attention. You are about to get rewards and recognition. You could be on TV, on the news, a public forum, but your talent and your skills will be noticed. You are getting appreciated. You may meet someone new who is playful and flirty. You will work best in a career that works with the public. You will work best in as a team or possibly even being the leader of the team. You are the big news right now. It is okay to take a gamble. You will most likely win. Just use caution and don't be impulsive. This is a time where you will be wearing a new hat, making new connections, being spontaneous, and getting a lot of attention luck is on your side. So you could be dealing with a Leo um, with all that energy or you could, this could be for you. All right, let's see. It's Leo season. Firecracker excitement. <laughs> perfect. How perfect for that because that's what Leo is. Leo is all about excitement. All right, bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Nice carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Okay. And career again. So, okay. It looks like you're getting a new job. Hmm. And it's exciting. A journey, physical or mental. So maybe you were out of a job for a while and you had a mental break and now you got news that you're getting a job and you're excited because someone is noticing your skills and recognizing you. Something's in the bag. It's in the bag, Leo or Gemini. <laughs> Let's keep looking at that card now. All right. Let's see what we get from the tarot. Angels, divine spirits and guides. Show me the messages for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know for August 2020? Justice in reverse, Gemini. Something was unfair. Something was out of balance. It does represent the end of a contract. It can just represent someone not giving, someone not being fair in a relationship and, and not giving as much as you do. Show me Gemini. The tower. Wow. So there was an explosion here. Something ended here. The Knight of Wands with a player. Someone who was in and out of your life multiple times. 
someone who was using you, taking advantage of you. All right, that could be Leo energy. Show me Gemini. The tower is, that's my argument, but it's over. Page of swords, you're not speaking to this person either. Three of pentacles, so this could be work. Well, I feel like something, I, I'm going to go down the work road because that's what I'm feeling, but this could resonate in, you know, another area of your life. I feel like you left because if something was unfair, that's a lie. The Page of Swords with the Justice card reversed. Someone may have gotten caught in a lie, but I feel like there was some type of explosion here. Something ended, possibly an argument. Something ended suddenly. You cut this person off. You don't want to talk to them anymore. And now they want to work with you, or is this just representing that it was work? Show me Gemini for August 2020. Show me Gemini. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. The moon reversed. Having clarity and not being afraid. Seven of Cups options. It's like, it's like you made a bold move after something happened, but now someone else wants to work with you or you have options. There's that Ace of Swords in reverse too. You cut something out here. You realized, oh, you realized that you had other options and you didn't have to put up with whatever this was. So you left. So this doesn't have to be past. This could be something new, a new job. Show me Gemini, please. You had the clarity. You, you, you caught, oh yeah, you're happy, sun card, beautiful. Look at all those major arcanas. Universe is here. Hmm. This all happened for a reason, the tower. Eight of swords in your head. What to do, what to do, Gemini. Something's not over. That's what I was kind of wondering. Like, is this a, I'm not really getting any past energy here, but I feel like you're free. And you're happy that you're free. You could be dealing with a Leo. But you're all up in your head about facing your fears. Go figure, Gemini. We'll see what we get from... Page of Wands, once again, not talking or bad news. Someone did not want to hear, like, I don't know. I feel like somebody stormed out. I feel like Knight of Cups, some type of apologies come in here. This person didn't have any closure. This cycle's not complete. It's almost like you got to go back. You got to go back and, and you don't want to do it. This contract wasn't, wasn't complete yet. Let's pull some, um, clarifiers because I'm really torn about, I feel like you have an option to either continue since you've moved away. You're on this new journey. Possibly someone is thinking about reaching out to you and asking you to come back and you don't know what to do. All right, let's get some clarifiers, guys, before I... All right, show me this justice card. What was out of balance here? What was unfair? What happened? I got... um. This, this, not, not truth. Someone's not telling the truth. I hate to call someone a liar, but the, I keep getting the same messages. Uh, I know I saw the Ace of Swords somewhere. See, someone needs to have the strength to express emotions. 
they weren't showing you love. Where's that justice card? Upright position. I feel like you're going to you're going to get justice because I feel like this person's getting bad karma because of something that they did. If this is a relationship, which I don't really feel that, I'm not sure where I'm really going with this, but I feel like this person may need the strength to possibly get a divorce and let the tower fall and move on. This person needs the strength to end something. Show me the tower. What was this tower about? I'm always so interested in the tower. Show me the tower for Gemini. This one. I'm getting this one. Three of Cups. So this is a friend. A friend at work. That's also social networking. And it is a reunion. A shocking reunion. Shocking happiness. Three of Swords. So we could have a third party situation here. Which I am kind of feeling. You could have found out that someone was married through a friend. With the shocking reunion, it makes me feel like you're going back. You're going back to whatever this tower was. Show me the page of swords reversed for Gemini. Show me the page of swords reversed. This one. The knight of swords reversed. Also harsh communication and a lie. Something ended suddenly. Something ended suddenly, somebody had no closure, and you made them really happy? Could be a sister. Leo is the card of children. Children. Could be a child. Page of Swords. It's like this person needs to, they made a mistake, and you need the strength to come and admit that. They want to reunite with you. I feel like they're, they're thinking about this. Show me... There's going to be... That, that's a fight. Show me the moon reversed. It's courage. It's not being afraid. It's having the clarity. Knowing that you want to do something. Cancer and Pisces. Ah, oh, that's a book. Not taking all those. Show me the moon reversed. Angels, please. One or two cards at a time. Show me... High Priestess, also being quiet, following your intuition. Show me Gemini. I feel like you both are being very quiet. This person may surprise you. Like, you're not going to expect to hear from them. So when you do hear from them, it's going to be shocking. Show me the moon reversed, please. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Four of Swords. So, Four of Swords is ready to take action. I'm clear. I'm not afraid. I know what to do. I'm not confused. I want to take action. I'm done healing. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is out of balance. There's definitely an imbalance here. Somebody just wasn't giving. I feel like you may have lost some type of stability. Three of Pentacles is coming up. This is work for somebody. Somebody quit a job here because they weren't being respected. They weren't being treated properly. Someone's realizing that they made a mistake. They need the strength to admit it so they can get this person back because they love this person. They want to reunite with this person. They were a good friend. This is also, um, who was, I, I was just saying this in somebody's reading the other day, you being the missing link in the chain, because I think there's something in the Leo card about that. Like, since you left, the chain just fell apart. It's not the same since you've been gone. I'm getting very strong. Harsh words, harsh communication. I'm done. I'm out of here. This is over. Very sudden. Somebody's having a hard time dealing with it. But I feel like they, they've healed now, and they're trying to get strong and get up their confidence 
so they can come and talk to you. The Queen of Pentacles, see, when she's reversed, I know that you're mercurial. So the Queen of Pentacles comes up a lot in Gemini and the Queen of Swords comes up a lot in Virgo. So this could actually be you. Like you're done healing and you're not confused about what you did because you were out of balance there. You weren't being valued. You weren't being respected. So you blew up this partnership and you moved on and it caused a lot of shock. Show me, and I feel like you're happy. I feel like you're at peace. You're happy. You're in the mood of Leo, possibly even in the spotlight. That's my social media card. Somebody could be doing something on social media here. Show me the sun card for Gemini. Show me the sun. Gemini, please, angels. Why is the sun here? Why is Gemini so happy? Is this someone's sun? I'm going to get off of that because that was coming up in like every reading. <laughs> because we do have a child here with the page of swords. The sun card represents a child. Sorry guys, I had an itch. Show me the sun card for Gemini, please. Nope, turn the deck over. Show me the sun card for Gemini. This one, this one. I was getting the other one. All right, there you are, Queen of Swords. This one was coming out too. Yeah, you made a very clear choice to release a burden and you're very happy about it. You did the right thing. See, you don't do the Queen of Swords wrong because she doesn't forget it. She's all about justice and doing the right thing. And she's treated unfairly. Mm -mm. She will use that sword, cut you off, done. Cleans up the clutter. That's what she does. Why are you in this Eight of Swords energy? That's what I don't understand. Ten of Swords. Because you didn't want to let go of the relationship either. It was painful for you. So you're asking yourself if you did the right thing. The Devil. Knight of Pentacles. The Star. Look at this combination. Somebody's obsessed with giving you an offer and healing this. Giving you whatever you want. Page of Pentacles. Communication. But you don't get along with this person. Hmm. All right, so with the Three of Pentacles being reversed, I do feel like somebody quit a job here because the Queen of Pentacles also would tell me that she took some type of a financial loss, but it seems like you don't care because you're not stressed out anymore. But this is Gemini energy. You're, you're in your head. I, it's almost like you can't forget what someone did or you can't get over this ending. You keep thinking about it over and over. Why did that happen? Why did they stab me in the back? Why did I have to leave? Somebody needs like to admit that they did something wrong. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, I hate when I have interruptions because then I forget where I was. So... I feel like you're having a hard time getting over this ending. Someone got caught in a lie. This is frustration. You were frustrated and you felt like you had no other choice. No other choice with that. Oh, I thought I saw the two of swords. See, you got, a, you got an apology. A peacemaker. A friend. Who else just had that? A friend is going to come forward and talk to you about this. Show me. Let's get some romance angels. I'll drive myself crazy thinking about this stuff. Okay. Show me Gemini, please, for August 2020. 
pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. There's something that you're not seeing here. Show me Gemini. The Eight of Swords can be refusing to see something, refusing to look at something, refusing to look at the fact that you're not stable since you left. Show me Gemini. worth waiting for so that makes me feel like you're going to get justice i i am feeling anytime i get worth waiting for that's usually a reconciliation divine timing is at work in your love life something is happening for a reason you know if you're in this relationship with this person and you're not appreciated you're not valued and you have no choice but to walk away you're frustrated and you're angry but you left and you have peace and you have happiness you release the burden your life is stress-free but it's almost like you have to go back or you want to go back. You're just waiting for the apology. And then you don't even know if you're going to accept it because you can't get over what happened. Show me one more for Gemini. I feel like you're not confused. There's clarity here. Trust. Situation is calling for you to have faith, finances, and career. Boom. I mean, this relation, I mean, this reading is all about somebody's career trust that everything is everything is happening in divine timing exactly as it's supposed to i feel like you might be overthinking something here gemini well this just flew out of the deck what's that six of thought peace peaceful times are on the horizon the storms have passed and now you can see your destination is within sight the stress in your life will begin to fade away allowing for happier times it may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country so that's the six of swords oh my goodness all these interruptions <laughs> um that's the six of swords it's moving on moving in a new direction leaving the drama behind show me the advice for gemini please let's see if we can put all this together show me the advice for gemini king of cups and the knight of cups is someone coming back to express emotions that one the four of cups there are wonderful people who wish to help you opportunities are being offered to you but you're not noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you look around you daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams four of cups is rejection not interested or someone trying to tempt you show me one more for gemini please so now with that card coming out i'm kind of getting the feeling that someone has reached out with an apology they want this reunion the hermit and you just you're overthinking it you feel like this person is possibly a devil you can't get over the past you can't get over what happened the hermit there are great rewards in spending time alone use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give those give to those around you shine your light as an example for others to follow seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now Eight of action there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you and yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time even if life feels challenging if you're asked to travel and take a flight then do so with confidence if someone's job involved travel that's like the third time i saw that or distance maybe you quit a job because it was too far or you didn't want to travel you're gonna you're hearing from someone i i just feel like with this i i i feel like you don't want it i don't feel like you don't you you just don't trust this person 
let's get um I'm gonna do one more thing for you Gemini I usually leave that right there but just for you because I'm unclear on this ending with all this clarity I feel like you're so strong in your decision or make you happy if someone releases the burden and comes forward and confesses to you that they made a mistake and they should have expressed feelings and they should have valued you but even still how is this your outcome show me gemini you're getting a special treat ask your angels you don't know what to do show me gemini for i just heard october gemini any final messages for gemini all right let's see gemini a year from now, take action. So you may reject this person at this time. I don't know why, but I'm getting a year from now, you'll go in a new direction. It's almost like you don't want to go back to this, but you need to go back to this to close it. And then a year from now, you're going to be able to leave it once it's closed. I feel like something's not the right time, Gemini. That's what I was looking for in this. So let me tell you about this Ask Your Angels card because I like to tell everybody, I want you to do this. If any of this reading is resonating with you, I want you to see that's what you're clear on. You're clear on how bad you were hurt. You're like, I'm not going back there. After you treated me that way, I'm not going back there. So... This is what I want you to do. If any of this is resonating with you, I want you to ask the angels to show you a sign. And here's how you do that. You, do, I, I say a prayer. You don't have to say a prayer. I just, I just say a, an our, our Father who art in heaven. I mean, whatever works for you. But say, angels, please show me the way. Show me what to do. If I should return to this situation, I don't know, whatever your question is, show me an elephant. If I should keep moving in the direction that I'm in, show me a watermelon, <laughs> whatever, something that's difficult, um, you know, something that's not sitting right in front of you. Like, don't ask them to show you an angel. Well, me anyway, because I got angels I'm surrounded by hundreds of angels all over my room. I'll have to show you all someday, but <laughs> I collect them. Anyway, um, ask them to show you a sign. And then within, give it like one or two days, usually it happens for me. You will see the sign. You will see it. Um, it will be on a billboard. It will be on a TV commercial. It will be something that someone says to you. I even had one time um, I asked for, oh, it was a giraffe. It was a giraffe. I couldn't believe it. It was such a weird thing. And I was in line at the supermarket and the lady in front of me was her, she was talking to her son who was sitting in the top of the cart. He was a toddler. He was only like two years old or whatever. And she's like, do you remember when you saw the giraffe the other day, the giraffe, the thing with the big long neck? And I almost dropped my, I was like, drop the mic. <laughs> it happens every time. They will answer you. They are there. Ask them a question. Ask them to show you a sign. Be very specific and then pay attention. With that said, I'm going to leave that there, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.